Hey everyone, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and today we're going over uh, this week's uh, comic book, action figure, and pop vinyl haul. I always got to get all of them in there because I'll forget something. And what is today? For April 20th. Um, some of these are second, third, fourth printings, um, but they're new to me, and a couple of them have been out a couple weeks, but again, new to me. Um, and one thing, oh, one thing before I actually get started, um, tonight we're doing our podcast, it is on animation. What are some of your favorite, um, cartoons, uh, animated movies, um, anime, uh, what are some of your favorites? Because I'd love to mention that to the guys as, as we're talking about, because, you know, some of them they may know, some of them, you know, we, I've never even seen, so you know what, I'd love to hear some of your favorites, because there's so many out there, and we're talking about from... The beginning of animation all the way up till now i'm sure the the majority of the stuff we talk about will be from um like the early like late 70s early 80s up to current times so it's gonna be a lot of good animation we're talking about tonight so just let us know what what kind of stuff you guys have seen and like and and so we'll try to discuss it if we can so let us know and now we start off with our comic books at, on our wednesday hall star trek manifest destiny and um, I first saw this and I thought, oh, they, they did a crossover. This is not a crossover. This is just uh, the name of the Star Trek. It's a four-issue series. Um, I'll, I'll try the first one. If it's good, I'll, I'll go on with them. If not, you know, whatever. Just one issue. No big thing. And I was really kind of hoping for a crossover because I've actually never read Manifest Destiny. Please, no hate mail. I know, I know. Everyone that has read it has told me it's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to have to have to get in there. Uh, next, um, Spider-Man Deadpool. Number one. I had heard about this only like last week. So I looked for the uh, number one. Well, I found number one, but this is the fourth printing. Like, wow, four printings out. That's crazy. So, you know, I had to get what I could find. I would like, like to, I would love to find the, uh, the original ones. Uh, but you know what? If I can, I can. If I can, I can't. I'm not gonna, I don't want to pay a ton for it because it's only a couple months old. So um, Next is issue two. And this is a third printing. So, like, wow. I, I'm just really surprised at how far the printings have gone with these. So, there you go. That's number two. And three. I couldn't find three. Uh, hopefully they'll get it in, uh, you know, second, third, fourth printing, whatever, and I can pick that up. And next is number four. This one just came out this week. This is the first printing of this one. So at least I got the first printing of one of them at least. So we'll check that out and see how it goes. Again, I have to find uh, issue three. Uh, next is a, a mini series. Uh, Marvel, some of the Marvel ladies here. It's uh, Spider Women. This is Spider Women One Alpha, and I kind of assume that's just the even it's called One Alpha. I hope this is just the regular number one out of the series so i saw that these were out like you know let me give these a try so we'll see how that goes and then we had number two this is spider gwen uh spider gwen issue seven uh part two in the spider women series so that looks pretty cool that's a really cool cover <laughs> i really like that cover that's awesome <laughs> they're jamming and part three, this one just come out this week. It is Silk number seven, number seven, and Spider Women part three. So we'll give this a shot and kind of see how it see how it goes. <laughs> actually, when I was actually when I picked up, I didn't really look a lot at the cover. The cover's cool. It's got Spider Gwen right there in the middle in her outfit, in her costume. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, next, I had to get my Harley fix. Um, Injustice. The uh, God Among Us, Year Five. This is number eight in the series, and yeah, I saw Harley on the cover. Had to get it. Uh, I'm a sucker for my Harley Quinn comics, no doubt about that. Action figures and all that stuff. So I got a slew of them. Uh, next, it, and uh, if you saw my video yesterday, I actually put it out. The Harley Quinn Little Black Book it had all the variants. Um, and the regular part of the comic is up to number three. The first one was Harley Quinn featuring um, 
Wonder Woman Part 2 was featuring Green Lantern. And Part 3, it was with Zatanna. So I'm excited to read this one. I read the first one with Wonder Woman. It was awesome. Uh, Green Lantern, I have not read yet. I, I don't know why I haven't read it yet. And uh, it was Zatanna. So I'm going to try to read both of those. Um, hopefully today or tomorrow at the latest. Um, next is part six. And I thought there was only six parts of this. But it's a seven issue series. Maybe they changed it or maybe I just, you know, flaked on it. I don't know. But it's a uh, Superman American Alien. I like the cover kind of saying that we are all Superman. That's number six out of this seven issue series. And again, I like I say, I really thought there was there were only six issues in the series. But I think that cover looks really, really cool. <laughs> I don't know why I just... I, you know, it's, it's like the Where's Waldo. There's there's Clark right there in the middle. <laughs> That's really cool. I, I didn't even notice that the first time either. Next is a new DC series. Uh, at least new to me. Um, and I, this is called Bloodline. One. This is uh, issue one of six. So we'll definitely check that out. Um, I hadn't seen this one. Well, the uh, Bloodline, seems like to me I remember a Bloodline before. I may be wrong about that. So I'll definitely check this out and see how the series goes. Uh, next, and again, this is this quickly became one of my favorite series. Uh, issue 6 of Huck. There's the regular, and here is the variant copy. Now we got the Forrest Gump takeoff right there. Um... And from what I've been hearing, this is going to be the last issue of this series. They never uh, like put it on the front or anything that this is the issue, you know, you know, part one of six or anything like that. So I'm hoping there's a door left open for more after this because great series. If not, they could easily make a really great animated uh, movie out of this and be phenomenal. That is just awesome stuff. And that's my comic book haul. Next, we have my action figure. I only picked up one. There's another one I thought about getting, but I picked up Venom from the Spider-Man line. This is uh, the Absorbing Man line. And what's he got in here from Absorbing Man? Anything? I think that's it. Yeah, he's got the Absorbing Man faces, I believe. Let's see. Yep, five. He's got the, the faces. That's Absorbing Man's face right, right yonder. So we got that. Uh, they also had, I think they had the entire series except um, Spider-Gwen, which I already have. I was going to get Morbius too, but I, I passed on that for right now. At some point, I'll probably get him, but I get Venom while I was right there at it. And next, because um, I got that at Toys R Us, and while I was there, I was checking out their pop vinyls, and they had the Sesame Streets for $4.99. Sadly, they only had one. And this was Ernie. They didn't have a Bert. Got to have Bert and Ernie. It's not just Ernie. Not just Bert. It's Bert and Ernie. They're they're tag team. So, oh, and he's got his rubber ducky. Rubber ducky, you're the one. And no, I I'm I'm awful at accents, but I, in my mind they sound great. <laughs> but, and, and like I say, only four ninety nine. And a huge fan of Sesame Street growing up. And as an old fart, I'm still kind of a, a fan. Um, this one, I, can't, I think I may have already showed you this one, but yeah, you know, why not show it again? Ain't no big thing, right? One of my favorite Sesame Street characters of all time was the Count. I picked this one up at um, this one and one of the other ones over here at uh, Fye. They actually had three for uh, about three get one seventy five percent off. And what was the other one? Because I got four of them. I, you know what? All three of these right here are the ones I got. And I believe I, I may have showed you these these three already, but you know what? Still love this one. They count. One, two, three. Three pop vinyls. Oh, oh, oh. Again, I'm horrible. But, you know, it's fun. Uh, then they, we got um, the Ghost Riley. This is the, the muddy version. I did see today they had Frank Woods also, and I passed on him. I'm, I'll probably not get him again, though. As I have the, the uh, GameStop exclusive uh, four set. I have not seen Price or Brutus in the uh, the mud versions of them. And last, I finally picked up Yoda. I have a glow-in-the-dark Yoda from Walgreens, 
but I never had the regular one, so now I have the regular Yoda. There's my guy. The master, the old wizard, Yoda. One of my favorite characters. Uh, he's one of those guys that, you know, like some characters in the movies just wish were in it more. Yoda's definitely one of them. The wise master of the group. Great pop. Awesome, awesome pop. But uh, that's uh, my haul for the day. And again, leave some messages. Some of your favorite animated, anime, uh, comics, cartoons. Uh, not, co not comics. Uh, cartoons, uh, cartoon series, uh, movies, you know, whatever. You know, like I say, we go back from as far back as we can because there are so many great ones. Um, I got a list, way too many, that's not going to fit in the podcast uh, tonight. But let us know what you guys like because, again, so many of them, so very many of them. But let's see, anything else? No, that's all we got for today. And you guys have an incredible day.